Okay, related to this rate of change stuff, um, a very big, a very common, a very big, I make it sound like it's literally large, a very common application of using derivatives to estimate, using derivatives to calculate change in values is uh, very commonly used to deal with something called marginal cost and marginal revenue, which we're going to talk about now. So let's talk about marginal cost and marginal revenue okay so let's talk about marginal revenue so if you are selling let's say that x is the number of items sold okay and r of x is going to be equal to the price per, is it price per item? Oh, no. R of X is going to be the total revenue from selling X items. Yes. Cool. So, as you sell more and more items, what should be happening to the total revenue as X increases? Yeah, it should increase also. Okay, now, there's something called marginal revenue. And marginal revenue is equal to the derivative of revenue which is the limit as h goes to zero of the revenue of x plus h minus the revenue of x all over h. So marginal revenue is something different. It basically tells you, how should I say this? It approximates or you can use it to approximate the change in per item revenue. Okay, we're gonna explain what I mean by that. Okay, let's say that you sell 100 items And each item can be sold for $25 a piece. Now, if you increase that to 200 items, so if you sell more of something, what, do you, what usually happens to the cost per item? Like, can you sell it for more or can you sell it for less if you produce more things? Yeah, exactly the marginal revenue usually goes down at some point. Like at some point it will start going down. Like this is what happens with mass production, right? If there's a lot, if, oh what? Yeah, exactly. When you're selling a bunch of something, usually that drives the price down, right? Because there's a lot of it on the market. Okay, so we use this concept of marginal revenue to sort of figure out the per item cost and how that is changing. So let's talk about how this would work. So remember, marginal revenue equals the derivative. So the marginal revenue of x plus h is approximately equal to the revenue of x plus h minus the revenue of x all divided by h. So you can multiply both sides by h. Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Oh, wait, shit, 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 shit. Uh, I'm doing this backwards. Sorry. This just has X in here. The marginal revenue of X is approximately equal to the revenue of X plus H minus the revenue of X, all divided by H, but we're going to multiply it over here. So... 
let's say that you start by selling 100 items and then you sell one more you are now selling oops, I can't type cannot write you are now selling 101 items okay so let's plug that in so the revenue of 101 items minus the revenue of 100 items equals H is going to be 1 marginal revenue at 100 items. Okay, so what you can do is you can use this formula. Like, let's say you know how much money you're going to make when you sell 100 items. But you want to figure out how much money you're going to make when you sell 101 items. Like, what happens to that per item cost? How could you... You can estimate this by saying, oh, well, the amount of money I make when I sell 101 items is going to be equal to how much I make when I sell 100 items plus the marginal revenue of when I sell 100 items. Okay? And then what you can do is you can take this amount and divide it by 101, and this now will give you the per item revenue of selling 101 items. Um, and actually, if you look at this one, so like sometimes you'll be interested in the figuring that out, like what's the per item revenue of selling 101 items. Most of the time you're actually going to want to know this. So R of 100 is the money made from selling 100. R of 101 is the money made from selling 101. So if you subtract them, what is this number actually equal to? This is how much, the one on the right is how much you made from selling 100. The one on the left is how much you made from selling 101. If you subtract those, it gives you what value? The thing that I've boxed in white. This is a little tricky. I want to see if, if it sort of makes sense or not. Let's say you made a, a $302 from selling 100 of them. And then you made $306 from selling 101 of them. What can you, what do you now know about the difference between them, that four? What does that four apply to? Right, so if you made $306 from selling 101 of them, but you made $302 from selling 100 of them, the difference between those two values is four. That's going to be dollars. What can you say this four dollars applies to? Not quite. It's approximately the marginal revenue of the hundred and first item. This four dollars is how much you made on that hundred and first item. Because as you sell the items, you make slightly different amounts of money, right? Because the marginal revenue is changing. So what this tells you is that, oh shit, when I sold that 101st item, I made $4. Now let me like, let's say that you then do uh, R of 102 minus R of 101. R of 101 is 306. Let's say that R of 102 is 308. The difference between them is $2. So what can you say about that $2 now? That is what? How much? Yeah. How much you made on the 102nd item. So do you see how each item you sell brings in a different amount of money? Because the marginal revenue is changing. So this allows you to figure out like, A, if I sell my 50th one, how much money do I make versus when I sell the 80th one, right? Does it make sense? Like uh, when you mass produce something, you're probably going to make less money at the beginning or maybe you'll make more money at the beginning. And this gives you a way to figure that out.
Okay, so we'll, we'll do an example. 